But we begin with the Michigan Senate Majority Leader claiming on video that the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol was a hoax. The video of Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky was recorded by the Hillsdale County GOP in a diner the day before the group voted to censure him. Uh, the group didn't think Shirky was being tough enough on Governor Whitmer and was also unhappy that he was supporting an open carry ban of firearms inside the Michigan State Capitol. Mara McDonald, live downtown. Uh, Mara, there's a lot of context needed here. Well, Devin, for starters, this video that was recorded is a little over an hour long, and for the majority of it, majority of it, you hear members of the Hillsdale GOP castigating Shirky. Take a look. At about the 30-minute mark in the recording, after Shirky has been told he shouldn't have supported a compromise that would ban open carry at the Capitol, but still allow for concealed carry, and after he told the group that voter fraud was not a factor in Michigan's presidential outcomes, he's then asked about his thoughts on the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. What about the D.C. thing? <laughs> I was there. <laughs> so... Um, that that's why? That wasn't Trump. Either. Not at all. That's, that's been a hoax from the day, from day one. That was all for your brain. This on the day the U.S. Senate saw the graphic video from body cameras of the police officers trying to protect the U.S. Capitol. Shirky, for his part, after the tape made the rounds on YouTube, has issued this apology, which says, I said some things in videoed conversation that are not fitting for the role I am privileged to serve. I own that. I have many flaws. Being passionate coupled with an occasional lapse in restraint of tongue are at least two of them. I regret the words I chose, and I apologize for my insensitive comments. Now, I had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the governor tonight on her upcoming budget presentation, and I asked her, A, had she heard about it, and what did she think about his remarks? There was so much in there to react to, and I'm going to try to keep my focus on doing the job at hand, which is getting our state through this pandemic, getting our kids back in school, and getting shots in arms. So, that's what I want to continue to put my energy toward. Um, it, some of these things are kind of shocking. Some of them aren't particularly surprising considering previous remarks, but I'm not going to get distracted by it. Back here live, Shirky also made some remarks about the governor specifically, including he told the members of the Hillsdale GOP that he considered jokingly challenging her to a fist fight, as well as referring to how he and fellow GOPers in the Senate have dealt with her budget and appointees as spanking her. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.